Hey Queen, do you ever wonder why so many people are single today? Why is dating so problematic today? For you, for friends, for people around you, but most especially you. So today I want to talk about one of the one of the biggest trends that I see in my coaching practice. Somebody was asking me, what are some of the top reasons you see that women stay single, why they can't find someone? And one of those reasons is that they don't realize that you need to have basic social skills, basic manners, basic understanding of relationships. It's not even advanced. So let me jump into the examples. And the point of this video is for you to gain awareness. Like, are you falling into any of these categories? Are you doing any of these things? It's an opportunity to refine your people skills and gain awareness, hey? Social skills. Social skills 101. So the first one that I can think of is, <laughs> I see women going on dates and being rude, rude. And when I say rude, <laughs> it has so many iterations. For example, it's rude to leave someone on read on a message. It is rude. It is rude. So in their quest, in their effort to, to sound busy, to appear hard to get, they leave him on red. Okay. So I'm going to list this stuff and the solutions and things like, that's another topic. Like, there's a lot of that in my, in my channel and a lot of it in my coaching, right? So you do the rude things like tell men on, on a first date, like, oh, you know, like I, I want a man that is so and so and so. Like all these entitled demands, like, I think a man should pay all my bills, all the bills. Like, I think a man should be so and so. These are my standards. Girl, yeah, like, sure, like, of course, we only date provider men and blah, blah, blah. But the problem comes when you think it's appropriate to say that kind of stuff to a stranger. You just met this person and you're coming here with your demands? Like, in what planet, in what context? Do you come and list your demands? Like, really? Is that how you run business? Is that how you run your business? Does it really work like that? No. So, things like taking days to respond to a text, for one, we don't really text when we're doing courting, but in case you are, you are not responding an email or a message from someone. And this can even be with, like, if you're doing this with women too, like, whether it be friends, whether it be work, 
whether it be any scenario where you're not responsive, you're kind of like more like flaky. You take days to respond in the um, in the effort to sound cool. Or not to sound, to appear cool and like, I'm so busy and I'm so important. Like, don't be rude. Right? So, just things that, like, if you go to a date and you say things like, oh, like, I just literally forget forget examples right now. But if you're going to a date and not being polite, not being discreet, and having um an entitled energy around you. It's it's not only rude, but it's just inappropriate for someone you just met. So having basic social skills of being polite, of being discreet, of being uh, responsive is so important. Because if this guy did that to you, you would be livid. You would be offended and you'd never want to see him again. Well, the same thing goes for women. So I don't know why women think it's okay to be unresponsive, okay to be entitled, okay to be indiscreet, and just root things that are not polite. And even politically correct to a degree when you just met someone, So I want you to stop and think, do you ever do things to seem hard to get? And you see, in the dating game, we don't play hard to get. If we are not hard to get, there's no game you can play that can have the effect that you're looking for. You know what I mean? No matter how hard you play, how hard you try, if you're not truly hard to get, if you if your standards are not actually high, it doesn't matter what shenanigans you play, it's not gonna work. Hence why these people are still single. Because it's not about pretending to be someone you're not. And by being rude and unresponsive and entitled and all these things. God, I wish I remember more examples right now. Like this pregnancy brain is, is a real thing. Totally blanked out. Um, just trying to remember. Saying things that are triggering to men, triggering things like, oh my God, um, like how you expect them to be providers, just all these things. I can't, I, I literally am spacing out right now with more examples, but anything that you would not say to a stranger in the street otherwise, you shouldn't be saying on dates. You know, like there was this one girl, she's a freaking dating coach and she's 25. Of course, single and all that stuff. And she, um, she kept saying how she has a list, a love list of, I think it was like 10 to 20 pages of her requirements and her standards. <laughs> so that's another topic, right? Like when you don't know how to communicate with men, that's a different topic, but 
it's also in the root category, right? Kind of like, oh, these are my requirements. And the manager's like, excuse me, what the fuck, man? Right? And again, these women are single forever. So have some common sense. Have some decent um, manners. Have basic social skills of not being rude, of not being unresponsive, of not being entitled, have self-awareness around that and learn how to communicate. So that's one of the key things that we learn in my coaching practice, how to communicate effectively and feminine with men. Funny, there was this one woman in the comments in one of my posts recently saying, you shouldn't have profanity and curse, or, and, and curse, you know? And I was like, yeah, don't curse in front of the men that are courting you. Duh. Yeah, don't do that in front of people you don't know. Or, or you know that you don't um, have a report with. I told her, with my girls, like, we get real. We... You know, we get real, raw, real, and uncensored. But obviously, with the men you're dating, you're not going to communicate the way you communicate with women you have a connection with. So, um, yeah, anyway, that's a huge part of what we do in, in my practice, the nonverbal communication. And communication with men, which is completely different than communicating with women. So gain awareness and review if you have any of these behaviors. Because a lot of times part of the cause of being single forever or chronically is that you don't have some basic manners and that you're trying too hard being someone you're not by being unresponsive and all these things. So let me know in the comments if this resonates and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.